Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, I have had this uh, cat door, I think that's a way to call it in English, but I have had that for years now and I have been wanting to put that out somehow to you guys, but I really didn't know and then I started building a door for it and um, oh well, it uh, blew up a bit and um, got into a much much bigger project and uh, uh, well just let me show you let's uh, go to the work table so here is the cat door that I was talking about that I made actually a long time ago it is made of three parts the front uh, of the door and the back of the door and then this little a uh, piece in between that goes forth and back so the cat can come in and out of the house. I made the STL file on Fusion 360 and I used the original measurements from a cat door for this one. And here is where everything went wrong. Because if you have a cat door you need a door to place it in and the door needs a door frame so I made that all here you see uh, the door and the two parts for the door frame I want to be able to put some kind of glass in the door here so I made this frame for the back where you can put a piece of acetate and use that for the glass I made room in the door for these small um, hinges here so they can sit in the door here and then I made some small cover things here, also 3D printed, to place down in there to cover the hinge so you only see it on the back side. And this side is going uh, to be glued into the frame, uh, the bigger part of the frame here. So here you see all the parts that we have. Anyway, I am going to use my white model paint from Vallejo to paint the cat door here. Uh, I'm uh, painting the flap white here, you can do that, but I decided uh, to leave it translucent uh, as I put it all together later. But I am definitely going to paint the frame here, as you see on me doing it right here. So I'm painting just the outside of the frame. You don't have to paint the inside or is it more the inside you paint and not the outside? Anyway, I'm painting the cat door. I mixed a off-white um, color for this door and the frame and I'm painting both the door and the frame. I printed the cat door on my resin printer as the parts are so tiny that it's uh, getting better on the resin printer but the door and the door frame and everything else is printed on my FDM printer. I wanted a piece of acetate in the window so I am taking a tiny piece of acetate and I'm just cutting it into the frame. If you look at this little frame it has kind of a uh, indent on the back side here where you can put the acetate so that the uh, thing here will lie flat on the door so I'm just putting it in there and then I am gluing it to the door. I am using my tacky glue for this I found that it is strong enough on uh, this um, filament and uh, if you use super glue you are risking that you are uh, kind of uh, putting a white uh, surface on the acetate so I rather wanted to use a tacky glue now where it is working so I'm just smushing it out a bit and then I am placing it here on the back side of the door and that's a window I am using super glue to glue in the hinges here just a tiny bit be careful that you don't get it on the uh, moving part of the hinge so I'm just putting the hinges in so that I have this um, moving part pointing upwards and then I am putting a tiny bit of super glue on that part and placing this little extra piece to hide the hinges so I'm just making sure that they will stay in place when that has all dried I am going to um, 
color in these small pieces here so they kind of disappear on the door. Now it is time for the cat door so I am taking this bigger part here and popping some glue on this rim here like you see me do and then I pop it into the door from one side making sure it is sitting really good and tight and I'm removing excess super glue here taking the little flap and I'm placing the small uh, dots on the flap into the holes in this part we just glued in and this little piece here is just uh, the rim for the other side of the cat door so it looks nice on both sides make sure that the cat door can swing freely and here you can see I use the translucent cat door and that's the cat door this should actually have been all there was to this video placing the cat door in a door because I just wanted to show you this cat door that I made so many years ago but here we have the door and I'm now gluing the hinges from the door into the door frame. The hinges can only go in one way so no worries, just glue them in. Now it went a little wonky because with that door frame I need to make the other door frame so that you could actually use this door. But to be able to use the door you need to have a wall. And then I made the wall with the outside and the inside. and um. I used some tacky glue to glue the door frame in place uh, from the inside and outwards. This way the door will sit right so you have the nice pile on the outside of the door. Then I used a tiny bit of tacky glue with some uh, paper here and I'm covering the hinges. I'm leaving this glue to dry completely and then I took a tiny bit of the paint from the door frame and painted these pieces of paper. Be very careful with this. This can loosen the um, super glue that you glued the hinges in place with. I had a bit of a problem with that. When that has all dried, sorry about my hair here. Um, I take my door frame, the outside door frame, and I make sure that it fits in place before I glue it so that everything is working. Then I am just doing as before. I did not show you that, but I use tacky glue all the way around the door frame before I popped it in place to start with. I'm doing the same here. And then on the door frame itself, I am going to put a tiny bit of super glue where the two plastic parts meet. And then I am just placing the frame in place and making sure that the super glue is gripping. And then the tacky glue will do the rest in a few minutes from this. And there we have the door. So you should think that would be it now because I made the cat door and the door. But um, yeah, I designed a window. So here we have the uh, part for the frame and I decided to make a hole here at the top and the bottom of the frame uh, so that the windows can open and close. And here we have the window, two parts. You can see the hole is going all the way through here. And then I made this little indentation on one side of the frame, on one frame of the window, where you can put in a piece of acetate for the window. What I am doing right here, so I'm just cutting out the acetate so it fits to the window. Then I am just going to take some super glue and I'm very careful not to place it on the acetate. And I'm just making small dips all the way around the frame. And then I am going to place the frame together and make sure that everything is really well connected uh, and letting the super glue dry and harden. After a minute or two, the window here was ready and I'm just using some eye pens 
poking the eye pin from top down and I'm using a tiny bit of super glue to glue this one in place so that it won't fall out when I'm placing my window. Um, and this super glue is almost empty so. Then I'm taking another one from the bottom and up making sure it's going into the window. Um, and the hole is big enough for you to use a piece of your um, filament if you don't have these eye pins. And here you can see how I glued the frame in place for the door as well. I'm just using my taggy glue all the way around and I'm actually putting it into the corner of the frame here because then it will kind of ooze out uh, to both sides of uh, the wood when I'm placing it and here I am just popping it in place and one of the um, eye pens here was making a bit of a fuss for me, the one I didn't glue in. Uh, but then I'm just popping it in place making sure it is sitting where I want it and um, yeah, using these clamps to make sure it is sticking where I want it and then uh, wiping off excess glue here so that it still looks good. With the last part of my super glue, I glued the outside frame here on the window and that's all there is for this. You will find links in the info box below for all these print parts that we made here. So you can find them yourself if you want to use them for some reason. Um, I had a lot of fun with this, but I have a question before we leave. Because I got these pieces in a support material for printing the door frame and the window frame. And I was thinking these are actually kind of cool. I wonder if I can use this for something for the dollhouse. So if you have an idea for something interesting, then please let me know. And uh, that is all there is for this video today. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.